Hi, it's Dr. Fryer. I just wanted to explain to you what it means to get a medial branch block and also a branch ablation. I had a patient today that um, had some relief actually from from an ablation of the medial branches of the, of the facet joints. So I just wanted to share with you with this model here. So just to get you oriented again, this is the you know this is the sacrum here. This is L5, this is L4. These are the intervertebral discs in here. All right, these two are the intervertebral discs. So you can see that under flexion, the discs are compressed and under extension, they actually the, the facets will approximate. So they'll kind of slide together. You see that? So this is where the facet is here underneath, but you can see it clearly on this side as well. So when you take you go into extension, see how those facets slide together? Well, this patient had, you can see here's a CT scan, and you can see there's a, these two vertebrae here are very close together, the sacrum and L5, and you can see a little vacuum phenomenon right in this region here. And there's an anterolisthesis, I don't know if you can see, but this vertebrae slip forward on this one, so L4 has a grade one spondylolisthesis. So, she was very good at bending forward. Okay? She liked that, right? And you can see bending forward actually will open, see how it creates space in the facet joints? Very good, but she had very limited extension. So the extension was extremely limited and she got significant relief from an ablation to the nerves, ablation, the medial branches, the, you can see that there are, there are three actually branches that innervate the facet joint. So typically they put an anesthetic in there and they'll see if, uh, they'll do an injection to see if there's some sort of a response, whether the patient has some symptomatic relief. And if they do, then you have to think about the, the anesthesiologist or the pain interventionalist will suspect that the facet pain here, or the facet's a pain generator, so then they'll go in and they'll burn these nerves. But you can also see that disc height loss. So when there's disc height loss, do you see what the facets do? See how they slide together? And this patient continued to bend forward to compress the discs, and these discs continued to compress because it brought relief. But the net result is you're squeezing this down to create disc, uh, disc height so the facets actually slide together. It's a very limited in extension. So the plan of management is to create better space, which we know we do. We get even better space when we lie down and sleep. They recover a certain portion, about 10% of their hydraulic height, they'll actually increase so doing offloading strategies during the day, you know, during your waking hours can actually increase the height a little bit to try and take some, and it does, it relieves the pressure, the approximation, how close that bone is to this bone here. So that was just a little example of, uh, you know, the disc as it relates to the facet joint and the joint space width and strategies to increase the joint space width and also the medial branches shown on this medial branch model. So I hope that was helpful.